Good morning. Today we are going to investigate the motion of a charged particle in the magnetic field. So let's commence operations. The particle we're going to look at is a proton. And the speed we're going to set is 20,000 meters per second. We've added a magnetic field here of 42.1 millitesla. Let's see what happens. Notice that the proton deflected. And so the real question is, can we trap the proton in this magnetic field? Well, we can. So let's see how that's done. I'm going to turn the magnetic field off right now. I'm going to launch it. And in a moment, I'm going to turn it back on. Now, notice that the proton seems to be moving at constant speed. Also notice that there are two vectors attached to the proton. One of the vectors, the red vector, indicates the velocity. And the other vector that's perpendicular to it indicates the force. So this is very interesting. This proton will probably orbit there forever. There is nothing that is slowing this proton down. And it's orbiting because there's a force there. The moment we turn off the force, let's see what happens. And now it's traveling in a straight line. So let's look at the magnetic force and circular motion in greater detail. Newton's first law. An object moving in a straight line at a constant speed will remain moving in a straight line at a constant speed unless a net external force acts on it. So in a previous video, we investigated that force, the properties of that force. The magnetic force is given by the formula charge times the magnetic field strength times the speed times the sine of the angle between the velocity and the magnetic field. Now whenever we have a force that acts at a 90 degree angle with respect to the velocity of the particle. So in this situation as you can see there's a 90 degree angle just like there was in the simulation a few moments ago. This force is called a centripetal force. So once again, here we are, we'll turn the field on, and voila. This force now has a special name. It's called a centripetal force because it's causing circular motion. Notice the force, which way is it pointing? It's always pointing towards the center of the circle that the object is making, that the object is tracing out. Now you're going to notice this radius here. It says 4.96 millimeters. And so the real question is, what formulas have I put in this simulation to generate this motion? Notice the magnetic field strength is 42.1 millitesla. Because it's a proton, it has a plus one charge. The speed is 20,000 meters per second, and the mass of the proton is given by this value here. All right, so we start off with the following statement. Fc equals Fm. What does this statement mean? Because every equation in physics tells a story. So Fc stands for centripetal force. It's like writing a net force statement. It's like writing F net equals something. So Fc is a centripetal force. And all that C means is that this is a special force that's going to cause an object to turn in a circle. When you say that's equal to Fm, Fm standing here for the magnetic force, what that statement is saying is that the only force responsible for circular motion today, for this example, is the magnetic force. There are no other forces contributing to the circular motion. That's what that statement is saying. That the only force contributing to circular motion is the magnetic force. 
Let's break this down. Just like F net is equal to MA, whenever you write an FC statement, it's MA, but there's a special A. It's called centripetal acceleration. In a previous video, we talked about how the magnetic force is the charge multiplied by the speed, multiplied by the magnetic field, and the sine of the angle. Breaking this down a bit more, we have M, mass of the proton, multiplied by speed squared over R. This is one equation that's given for centripetal acceleration. The speed of the object squared divided by the radius. And this, of course, is still equal to QVV sine theta. Now, these are all our givens here. The theta is 90. We discussed that in a previous video. The mass of the proton is listed. The charge. The charge of the proton is exactly 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. Speed is 20,000 meters per second. And the magnetic field strength, B, was 42.1 millitesla. But a millitesla is 0.0421 teslas. So here's your goal. Your goal is to take those five quantities, put them into the equation today, and to try to get the radius. Now, the question is, will the radius equal the radius that we saw in the simulation of 4.96 millimeters? Well, I just did the math a few minutes ago, and yes, indeed, it does equal. So after you do all this math, after you put in all these numbers into those equations, you should get a value for the radius of 4.96 millimeters as these are the formulas I used when I coded the simulation. Have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.